at this place called Paradise Point. Views. You can see like the whole island. Good morning, everybody. My name is Eli, and welcome, or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we got a very, very, very special vlog. As those who follow me on Instagram might have seen, I'm currently on winter break from dental school, and I'm on vacation down in the Virgin Islands. As I was on my way down here, I reached out to a friend, shout out to Nakora. Uh, she put me on with a dentist down here, and me and him linked up and decided that we were gonna film a day his life as a dentist in the Virgin Islands. So, I'd like to introduce everybody to Dr. Richard Long. All right, so, Dr. Long is a graduate of Howard University College of Dentistry, graduated in 2018, and he's been working as a dentist in the Virgin Islands since 2020. Yeah, December 2020. December 2020. So we're currently in St. Thomas, one of the Virgin Islands, and we'll be traveling to St. Croix um, because Dr. Long works on both islands. So that'll be a super interesting vlog for today. Um, but I'm just gonna have Dr. Long introduce himself a little bit, tell you guys a little bit about um, you know where he's from, where he went to dental school, and like how he ended up becoming a dentist in the Virgin Islands. Yeah, yeah, so I... Uh... I got down here in a kind of obscure way. Um, first of all, I went to VCU undergrad. Uh, I'm from Richmond, Virginia. And um, the way I ended up at Howard was basically, I, I, you know, I heard about, you know, the, the family aspect of it. Um, it's in DC, so that's right up north from where I'm from. And long story short, uh, I had a guy, you know, me, me and him were studying basically the entire time together, like through the whole undergrad process uh, up until taking the DAT. And so he ended up getting in a year before me. That's a long story, you know, for <laughs> later. But uh, afterward, I got in and, uh, you know, I really enjoyed it. Howard was great, uh, loved it. And then afterward, uh, I started working in the DMV area, which is the DC, Maryland, Virginia area. And it was okay for a little bit, you know, I had my fun and then I got a phone call from uh, my fraternity brother and he was trying to get me to come down to the Virgin Islands and, you know, part of me was just like, you know, I, I'm not leaving home, like, why well, don't I come to the islands for? Uh, and it, it just didn't make sense for me because I had established like a home base, you know, I had a routine, I had my friends. I had, uh, you know, uh, just a situation where I felt like I created a, a tribe for me in D.C. And then, uh, yeah, I, I kept getting calls for like three months. <laughs> like, no lie, like three Persistent. months. <laughs> they kept calling me. So I was like, you know, oh, let, me, let me come down here and check this out. So I came down and, you know, the rest was history. Granted, it, I, still, I still didn't want to come uh, even, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I still didn't want to come after the week visit. What made me lean into it was realizing that the opportunity, not just for dentistry, was greater, but also the opportunity to learn more about culture, diversity, and uh, just to have a change of pace. And I know everybody's gonna probably like get on me like, "You wouldn't move to an island," but you know you had to think about it. <laughs> like, yeah. You're you're off the mainland and yeah, you don't have you, access to a lot, man. Just yeah, Va vacation is different from uh, <laughs> vacation is different from being here for real, like you know so. Yeah, but that was it, and that's how I got down here, so uh, it's been pretty cool, uh, definitely learned a lot, and uh, hopefully we get to see some stuff today, so, yep. <laughs> yeah, so, that's a little bit about Dr. Long, of course, more will be said throughout the vlog today, but just wanted to get a brief intro going, it's still mad early, 6.23 in the morning. <laughs> But we got to fly over to St. Croix. Um, Dr. Long, fun fact, is uh, currently working on his pilot license. So sometimes he flies himself to work with an instructor. Um, but today we won't be doing that, sadly. Um, 
That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, a, it's a good thing, but it would it would have been nice for the vlog. Um, but yeah, either way, we're gonna take like a quick twenty minute flight to St. Croix, uh, and we're gonna follow Dr. Long around during his day. So, hope y'all stay tuned for the vlog. If you're new to the channel. My name is Eli. I'm a second year dental student at Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine. On this channel, I make vlogs with my dental school journey, as well as videos with advice for pre dents that are looking to get to the next stage and apply to dental school. So if you like the channel, please make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment under the video, share the channel with anyone you think might find it interesting. Now let's get into the vlog. So this is where you stay like when you're waiting to get on your uh, plane, whichever one. Somebody probably oh. does own it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no way for me to get in. I'm not calling over you. Uh, no, I'm mean, happy. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, if, if you did, I'd be like, yeah, cut the film, like. <laughs> <laughs> Just landed in St. Croix. Oof. Yep. Oh, welcome to St. Croix. Uh, there's. Oh, is this the? You said this is just like for the Homeland Security and stuff. These planes for. Oh, he's on the phone. Now you're listening. Too too important. <laughs> I should have. You should have got that other thing. You should have got that other thing. You should have got that other 
like it might be the same stuff to do, but once you get to know something, it's actually kind of cool. Yeah. I'm trying to be the tour guide today. <laughs> Basically. Is that good for us? Is that good for us? Is it good Yes. No, wait, wait, wait. You know which way? I don't know how you see it. It's not here. It's not here. There's nowhere to go up. But from here. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's coming to shadow, uh, shadow at the office. So, you know, after this, I'm going to fix some teeth. <laughs> 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 I'll be the accurate good move. And honestly, the silver is gold. Um, all the condiment holes are pink. For AKA, this is like. Yeah. <laughs> Just a regular day. Yeah, man. This is, <laughs> this is a normal morning, man. This is my my spot every morning. <laughs> yeah, just another day on, in paradise. Oh, y'all, it's been a little bit of a hectic morning because we got here like a tiny bit late, like 10 minutes late. But, um, you know, I wanted to just kind of get familiar with the people in the office and everything uh, before I, you know, did any kind of recording. Uh, in the morning, Dr. Long did like a few composite fillings and stuff like that. But now the procedures are getting uh, more interesting and more complicated. So he's about to do a crown prep and also might be possibly placing an implant. So I'm gonna definitely try to get some footage for you guys to see like the type of stuff that he does literally on a daily basis down here. What I really need is a, what I really need is to see uh, uh, what What is it? Okay, now um, right down. Uh, are you, is this okay or you, you know? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Good. Okay. I'll make it work. All right. This hurts or no? Mm -mm. All right. Make sure this is nice and open. You got the um, periosteum? Nope. Oh, you that right? Nah, but I can try. Yeah, I'm gonna try and make it work. <laughs> keep all that, keep all that. <laughs> 
Okay, let me get this open. You're gonna feel a lot of pressure, okay? Gracias. <laughs> Oh, that's a pressure. The wing was always the easiest to um, open. Yeah, you okay? Uh -huh. All right. Oh, sorry. So I might need you, Sasha, to do me a favor. And once I start, like hold that open. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's What happened? Yeah, probably ice coming. Um, of course, we'll have a little more of the purple. Anyway. All right. Let's get an expert. How are you? Um, so that's basically um, to kind of placed in there to show the angulation. Um, when we take the x-ray, we'll be able to see like if the implant's in line, if it's directly in the middle, um, or if we need to tilt it or angle it back, forward, whichever way. And then, um, you know, if everything's good, we can go from there and... Sorry. <laughs> we can go from there and uh, place it. All right. So, what do you think? Pretty in the middle? It's, it's pretty uh, in line? <laughs> I would say pretty good. Yeah, not bad for a freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so kind of more in the medium, but it's still center. So, we'll go ahead and just follow that path. I actually honestly could go a little lower, but because. Uh, I don't want to get in this range. You know, I'll try to stay above because I don't want to touch the nerve. So, all right. Maybe we could do a 12. You got a, uh, 
what is it, a four point whatever we have by 12? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's, yeah, we can go a little lower. And so from this point, you just follow the path. Oh yeah, probably should take that out. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you said it's a seven by 12? Oh, or is it a two by, 4.2 by 12? It's seven? Oh, seven, okay, all right. I just wanted to know which one I need to go up to. <laughs> I just, I didn't know. No, no, I gotta do the one, the one size up. Okay, so this is usually kind of tricky because some of these, which where's the, uh, some of these come in like a different configuration. So you gotta like find the one that locks it in. This one kind of does it. So I'm not gonna use this because uh, I don't want any issues. <laughs> And this one really does it, so I'm gonna use this. All right, hold it back. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah, tell her I said it was good. Um, let's go ahead and get this down a little lower. Oh, I was going to sink it. Look, Sasha, Sasha is, is ready. She is ready. <laughs> she ain't playing no game. <laughs> Now, here's my issue. Oh, why why won't it, yeah, it won't uh, lock in, so.
Oh, no. oh there it is. Huh? Are you going along with your number one or no? I'm going to do the the uh, screw the screw routine. Um, the but you're saying healing the button at the top? No, I'm going I'm to um, suture it over and then do a hole punch later. All right, let's get this x-ray. Side. Okay. Yep. Go ahead and suture this up. You know. You okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You gotta come back for a suture and move, okay? So, oh, oh yeah. So about that, she's going to school. Um, so she's not going to be coming no, back. Gonna so back. Can, I, can I get the, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on. Well, sorry. I, I don't know. I thought about it earlier. I just, you know, <laughs> it'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So that's an implant. Like, that's, that's it. <laughs> that's it. So, yeah, man. Yeah. There's nothing. And she's okay. So, you know, yeah. um, and the speed is still working. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Real simple, so. All right, Dr. Long, how would you describe today so far? <laughs> uh, it was chill. Chill? Yeah, real, real chill, real easy. Um, One implant, two, th two crowns so far? Yeah, two, and then two more coming up. Two more coming up? Yeah. Like eight fillings? Yeah. Let's yeah. chill. Pretty, pretty chill day. Let's chill. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> You know, nothing to it. Um, Just him. <laughs> <laughs> Just him. Yeah, real Doing all that stuff. Nothing to it. I think, uh, you know, once you get in the flow, it's just all about maintaining, um, you know, just making sure you're doing everything, like, right and checking all the boxes and stuff. So, yeah, real chill day. I'm you know, just looking forward to uh, getting to the Christmas stuff. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's it. But, yeah, yeah, this, is, this was a nice day. I mean, we're in here. Yeah. Yeah, right now I still got the, the two crowns left. And, yeah. You know. How is it for you though? <laughs> Honestly, like I I think today has been very fruitful. Like my mom had texted me <laughs> my mom texted me like how's your day going? I was like, honestly, like I I didn't seen I didn't i I've seen and gotten way more out of today than I originally expected. Oh, okay. Like even starting from like I don't know, getting, getting flown from an island to another island yeah. by a 20 year old pilot was not on my 2022 <laughs> bingo card at all. And, and it, was smooth. it was smooth. It was smooth. Like it was, it was, I'd, I'd argue that it was smoother than a commercial flight. Yeah. Um, so we started off the day with that. Got to do like some, some low key sightseeing in the morning. Oh yeah, yeah. A um, little bit of breakfast. Little yeah. Bit, little bit of so. Water. That's something that you don't really get to do in America. Like, I mean, maybe if you work in L.A. or Miami or something, but you still don't get the views like you get down here. Yeah, nah. Um, so we did that, came to the office, and it was immediately time to go. That's why I didn't record much in the morning, but I already hopped on the camera and <laughs> told them, like, you know, I hopped on at 11 o'clock, and I was like, look, wasn't no recording getting done in the first two hours, but... Got some crowns and implant coming up. Yeah, man. Um, I'm I'm glad that I actually got to film basically the entire process of placing an implant. I think that's uh, good for me to see, especially as a D2 when we're starting our implantology course literally like the week that I get that's back. Um, but also good for you know other people to see that you know 
although my channel is I guess primarily ca catered to pre-dents there's definitely like a lot of dental students that subscribe just because they support me or they're my friends or anything like that so I, I always like being able to get content that's gonna benefit them as well as pre-dents like I'm sure dental students are gonna like seeing like not just how it's how it's like to be a dentist in the VI but like actually see a procedure like basically in full like that yeah it's not something you get to see very often on anybody's youtube channel yeah i wish i wish we could throw in an endo maybe uh maybe something will come in but yeah it's, it's nice to see especially because a lot of the intangibles and the small things that you just don't know like really uh it that's the stuff that you want to see it's like everybody you know talks about like getting skillful um with the procedures and whatnot but Dentistry is really about when it's not ideal and when you don't have the form, when you don't have the mannequin and you, you have to actually work with something that it looks like it's just beyond saving. Yeah. <laughs> you have to make a decision and use the knowledge that you gain. But uh, yeah, that's that's also the exciting part because then you get to test yourself and kind of yeah. you know, show your skill and stuff. So Even something that I didn't, I didn't uh, mention when I first came on the camera earlier today. But one of the one of the uh, patients that came in this morning, uh, someone had came in and basically said like they were having pain in their oh, yeah. upper left quadrant. Yeah. Um, she had like basically pain in her sinuses. You could visually see a little bit of swelling on the left side of her face. She said like she was having pain for the last week. Um, she described like throbbing pain. However. Um, Dr. Long ran, you know, all the all the correct tests when it comes to testing for endodontic issues, um, looked at her x-rays and everything, and honestly, the, I mean, it, it just seemed like it wasn't a problem with her tooth. I mean, it might be, but <laughs> at the end of the day, like, you're going to run into situations where you do everything that you're taught to do, and after that, you have to make a decision of, okay, what's next? So... The solution that Dr. Long came up with was to prescribe her for antibiotics because it could very well be uh, some kind of sinus infection or something because she started to mention that she was having pain up here and like it was kind of radiating to the, at one point she said even to like the back, back of her, her head, head or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that could be a number of things. And of course, like if someone feels pain in their tooth, they're going to come to the dentist first. Yeah. But honestly, after hearing her talk, it sounded like the pain didn't originate there, but it was just part of the problem. Yeah. And so... And, you know, if, if in fact it is a dental infection, because, you, you know, you, you run through all the tests, you do the percussion, you do the uh, cold test or the temperature test, you do the palpation and see if there's anything. And you, if you do all the stuff and, you know, you don't have a result, then a sense or a result that shows uh, symptoms that would lead you to a certain treatment, um, you know, at some point you kind of got to say, okay, well, is this really, you know, dental related or is this beyond, you know, the scope of where the oral cavity is? So at that point, um, you know, it, it's just good to kind of make sure you cover your bases and, uh, inform the patient that there's other means to like seek, you know, a solution to where the actual problem is, um, uh, coming from. And so by prescribing an antibiotic, considering there was swelling and the symptoms that she did give. Um, especially like pressure behind the eyes, things like that, like, mm. you know, and stuff in this area. She did say her nose was stuffy too in that one side. I think it was good to at least not only refer to an ENT, but kind of leave her with or send her off with an antibiotic that uh, would help clear up any respiratory bacteria and things like that. So. And then on top of all that, she had braces. Yeah. So who <laughs> knows if that was playing a role into it all. It's just like you never know what you're going to see. Yeah. Um, and, and when I first came down here when I first started um, talking to Dr. Long last night just about like what his life was like working here like he did mention that like when you're down here you're going to see everything you're going to see a lot of different anom dental ano anomalies and different cases here that you may not run into but like maybe once a year in the United States or some people might not run into them but once in their career yeah so yeah um just like seeing the type of experience you get down here like Although it's, it, I mean, like, it's really not that different. Like, the type, your patient base and, like, the type of things you see is different. But, like, it doesn't take a different skill set as far as, like, what you learn. Yep. 
it's more so putting yourself in that position, coming down here, taking that leap of faith mm -hmm. and trusting in your abilities. And, you know, you have, you have to be uncomfortable to grow. Like yep. you don't, you don't grow in moments of comfort. So yep. I commend Dr. Long for taking that leap of faith, especially as somebody that's not originally from down here. Yeah. Like uh, most people that aren't originally from the Virgin Islands are not coming, to, taking the chance to come down here and live down here and work down here and move their whole life down here mm -hmm. but you know um i can tell just from being here for the, the uh well we were up at six so i guess it's been a <laughs> it's already been an eight hour day but yeah. i can tell just from the eight hour day that like the experience of being here is it, it, it's it's life-changing like it's, it's very rewarding like i already feel like <laughs> my life has changed <laughs> so if it, um, and if it did it for the dentistry that flight over this morning yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah my, uh, 20, but, putting your life in the hands like, of a 20 year old i guess i at some point either in this vlog or in my other vlog that i'm currently filming which is like my travel vlog i'll i'll discuss the <laughs> the uh trouble we've been having trying to figure out how i'm gonna oh, get man. home <laughs> Last last night we probably spent three to four hours no figuring lie. out if I'm even gonna still come because um, my flight there, or well our flight there got canceled, um, like maybe uh, thirty minutes after I got to Dr. Long's house. Um, so then we had to figure out how we're gonna get here because at the end of the day, Dr. Long still had to work. We still had to get here some way, mm -hmm. and then we're like, okay how am I going to get back? Because Dr. Long's going back to Virginia because it's the holidays. It's Friday before Christmas. Um, so I'm like, okay. Originally, I had a flight back. Flights are getting canceled. I book a little backup flight tomorrow morning. And I'm just like, all right, we're just going to do that. I'm going to hang out in St. Croix for the night, figure something out. It'll YOLO. Like, I was, I was literally on YOLO, but I, I wasn't giving up this experience. Yeah. <laughs> so... So I, you know, I was like, okay, I'm going to just make it work. Sitting here at work today, get an email, your flight for tomorrow morning has been canceled. Yeah, now man. we're back in the same predicament that we spent four hours dealing with last literally. night. And then we ended up, I, it, it uh, ended up, uh, huh? Uh, I got to go do it. Another crown. Yeah, another crown. Another but crown. basically, um. Yeah, it ended up being the fact that I just had to give up my flight that I'm normally booked. I I thought it was canceled, but apparently they left it. So and we ended up taking my flight. At this point, we're still crossing our yeah, fingers. Yeah, you know, because <laughs> maybe they'll cancel that too. Yeah, so, you never you know. know. And at this point, I mean, I'm just going with the flow. <laughs> If he look, if he gets stranded, then if I get stranded, like, then I mean, John, Jonathan's here, Doctor <laughs> Doctor Rodney is here. Yeah. That was like a little Easter egg that I wasn't even expecting. Yeah, I didn't special, even know. Special guest. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, it, it's 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 a whole lot going on, but the day has been amazing so far. Yeah. Nothing short of it. Yeah. Um, let's just hope I can get home. <laughs> <laughs> but we finna get back to work, um, and I hope y'all are enjoying the vlog so far. Ooh. Thank you. Uh, what was I gonna say? You know, my my um my stocking is the most empty. <laughs> but Bye. oh, okay, true. That's that's very funny. <laughs> what's all, what's wrong with my stocking? Why so depleted? This stock ain't well. <laughs> like, why is it so so weak? Like, er, look at this. This joint's filled to the brim. Sasha, oh, yeah, no. Sasha's. Yeah, Sasha's. Oh, let me see. Some guy, some guy. Everybody got cool stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I pull up the dead blazer and I leave him. Leave him stranded since you want him. I want to steal my content. <laughs> uh, oh my hand. Oh, I ain't fine. You know, yeah, Shit. I was saying she posted this morning. Like, See, like, I was filming all day. My battery's just now dropping down from three to two bars. Okay, so then that's okay. 
But the thing about my battery is like once it gets to two bars, it's like you got 30 minutes. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. okay. It's like it's one of them, but I still got this battery that I haven't touched yet. So, all right, y'all. So it's been a super long day, but we're done. Uh, I got to see a lot of cool stuff today. I'm not going to lie. It's been a great day. I'll talk about it more later, but for right now, we're just getting ready to uh, go pick up uh, Dr. Rodney and uh, go to the airport. Uh, I'm heading back to St. Thomas. Dr. Long is heading home to Virginia for the holidays. Dr. Rodney is going to take the car and he's going to be heading home tomorrow. Um, but yeah. I, I do. <laughs> I got to get back to St. Thomas. They canceled two of my flights already. Third one's a charm. So I'm giving him my Hi. 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 How about hello? Because, like, where the hell are you? All right. Somehow, some way, I made it. And I'm actually going to go home tonight. That's tough. And I'm at the airport right now. All right, y'all. I'm home. It is late. I don't even know what time it is. I'm using my phone. It's probably around like 7.30 or something like that. Wrapping up the vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed watching a day in Dr. Long's life. A day in Virgin Islands being a dentist. I had so much fun today. I learned a lot. And it was honestly nice to just experience something new, you know. So I hope y'all got something out of the vlog and enjoyed coming along during the day as much as I enjoyed being there. And I'll see y'all soon for the next vlog. Peace.